Hi, I'm James. This is Simone. Welcome to Nerva Tech Talk. So we've been a massive distributor of Motorola solutions since 2009. And um, what we want to talk to you about today is some of the questions that we get asked on a day-to-day -day basis. So, what other type of radios um, does Motorola offer? Well, we've been speaking most, mostly about DMR, or digital radios, so far. But Motorola also have Tetra, which is a huge portfolio and very, very common in oil and gas and emergency services uh, industries. Uh, Tends, it's, a, it's a more expensive, more critical product. There's a lot more infrastructure involved around it. Uh, DMR is a mid-type pro uh, product. It's not as expensive. It's cheaper to deploy, it's cheaper to maintain. And then on the cheaper side of it, we can operate these radios, these DMR radios in analog mode also, which again is a less function rich system. And if you want the very basic, you can go to 446 which is license-free radios, which are used in very small niche specific areas in this region. Okay, so what's the difference between analog and digital? Analog and digital are significantly different. Uh, it's how the radio processes your, your audio. So in a digital system, the repeater can handle two calls in digital mode per frequency. The frequencies need to be uh, paired, so you need to have a TX and an RX frequency. In analog mode, the radio is effectively transmitting in analog mode and you need a single repeater per group to accommodate you. So, thank you so much for your time today. I hope we've been able to add some value. We've answered some of your questions and your queries. If you have anything else you're not sure about, contact us below our contact details are here james have you anything to add if you have any questions on a new or existing motor motorola dmr system don't hesitate to contact us we're here to help you so from james and i it's tech talk out